Hi guys, so I went out today with Anomi and he took me to the neighbouring town and they have a uh, metaphysical place, they do holistic therapies and stuff but they also sell a few bits and pieces and I got some really exciting crystals which I'm not going to show you to the end although one of them is there although they were all really exciting but some really really exciting crystals that I found that I thought were incredible um, so I also got some of this which is Moon Copal and is a, a resin for protection, cleansing and purifications and has a sweet woody aroma that can be used for tr um, meditation and trance work and I've not actually tried Moon Copal before I've, I've tried other types of Copal um, so I'm going to try and see if it's any different uh, you know the, the grade of the scent it was only two pound for a 50 gram bag which i thought was pretty good so that's what it looked like and i was really really impressed with that and this is the little shop that i've shown you before and you usually get little bags i mean look at the beautiful lilac color of the bags that the crystals all came in this time around apart from one which i i'm not going to show you yet because it's hiding something else. So the first thing is this and this is uh, snow quartz and I got six of these and they were three for £1.50 which I thought was a really good deal and they're freezing cold and there's just something about them. It's supposed to be a gentle calming um, stone which is supposed to enhance meditation by gently allowing wisdom to come. Um, it is also to provide support while you are learning lessons and helping um, let go of overwhelming responsibilities and limitations and to help promote mental clarity. So I think I was very strongly guided by these but just because of the state of affairs of things at the minute to help bring that gentle, loving, peaceful energy in. And it does look like snow. It's incredible. It is that amazing shine of white on. It's just incredible. And I'll just show you the little bag again because I thought they were really pretty this time around. And then I got some amethyst, of course, because I always, always, always buy amethyst when I buy other crystals. Without fail. I don't think I've ever come home without at least a tumble stone. And this was the last crystal bed they had. Um, they did have some rough cut pieces, but they didn't look um, very clean or, I don't know, I, I wasn't as attracted to them as this, and this was the last bed, so, and I do love all the, the points. It was a very pale colour, but it has this beautiful large point right at the back, and I am a huge fan of amethyst, it is my spirit stone. I got one piece of obsidian, normal obsidian for some protection and grounding work. Now this is the first crazy crystal, look at this. Let's see if I can just move over. And this is rainbow hematite. And every piece of rainbow hematite is um, different. And she was telling me about the um, process by which uh, the, I've forgotten what she called it. It was some sort of, I can't remember if it was a calcium or a calcite or something when it's forming. I can't remember. She she, she told me all about it and I was a bit like, because my brain's not in the right place at the minute. I've had migraines. So, yeah. So it's a balancing stone to help bring clarity and reason. Uh, clarity to reason and emotion. So to, to cl clarify situations in emotional state and reason state so if you're like overthinking things or if you're over feeling things this the stone helps you ground um so sort of yeah where emotions are charged with excess energy it helps to bring peace and understanding of the next step all very relevant to me right now it looks like a bubble Isn't that incredible um Um, sort of helps recharge the flames of life energy within you whilst also grounding you. So it's sort of a connector between um, the sky and the earth. 
is the idea. The messages in joy, in life, in fullness. There's a whole page of um, information that I was reading about rainbow hematite because I hadn't seen this before. And that's going to be true of the next, well, sort of true of the next two I'm going to show you. But I hadn't actually seen these and they had a whole bunch of um, unusual stones that they just got in literally today and I got a few. Snow quartz being a one, rainbow hematite being another. It's, it's like a unicorn bubble or something. It's incredible. So the next one came in this little red pouch and I have been after some of these and I don't know what it is about England because <laughs> I haven't been able to get hold of them. Fluff come off my bag. There we go. So these are cherry quartz. I am getting the shivers just looking at them. They are incredible. Um, so they are for hope as an antidepressant, helps relief from um, anxiety and helps relieve sexual problems related to tension, as well as help develop vision for the bigger future. and as well as blood flow, energy flow, and balancing stone for a sad or weak heart. So I saw these and I have, I really would love a, uh, an obelisk of, of cherry quartz, but you can't, I've never seen the tumble stones. And these are huge, big, great, big, chunky tumble stones. I've got a penny or something. I can, I think it's my dime still around there, it is. Okay. So there's the dime. And they're huge. I mean look look at that. Then I got three. These three in particular just sang at me. And I got them for Beltane. They're going to go on my altar as a maid mother crone representation for Beltane. And they fiery little they're amazing. They're just Oh, I'm so excited about these. So, you know, all these unusual stones. So the last three are even more shivers. These, these bad boys right here. Let's maybe put them on the purple so you can see a little bit better. are blue obsidian. Blue obsidian. And words cannot describe how beautiful these are. They had a, a variation in colour from this very sort of clear to the more opaque. And the shape and the feel, and, oh, they're giving me the shivers and I'm going to read you um, what they're for. Um, they stimulate the throat chakra, communication can help in astral travel, tarot reading. They have the usual properties of obsidian, helping keep away negativity and are extremely protective. They can help with directional knowledge, particularly for sensitive people. Blue obsidian cannot be used for evil. This is the protection stone for psychic people. It provides a wonderful screen against negative energy and is good for the digestive system. Why those two are written next to each other <laughs> seems a bit odd. Um, stimulates the throat chakra, good for speaking in public and communications. It's said to aid telepathic skills as well as protecting during any travel. It works good in relieving eye problems. I've had an eye twitch since my migraine, so maybe it'll help with that. Um, assists with speech therapy, alleviates pain. It also is good for mental clarity in disorders such as Alzheimer's, multiple personality confusion. The colour of the obsidian depends on the presence of impurities. Uh, 
I saw these and I nearly climbed into the box. <laughs> I, I had to limit myself to three because these were incredible. These and uh, they and uh, uh, there and uh, oh. So I was over the moon to see these. I think these were slightly more expensive than the normal tumble stones. I do have a receipt, but I don't think it itemises each thing. Oh well. I think these were slightly more, like where these were like, um, I can't remember how much they were. It might have been 75p or 3 for 150 for the snow quartz. Um, the crystals in the shop are middle of the line, I would say. I mean, Every time I go in there she gives me something for free because she's such a lovely lady and I got the obsidian for free this time. Um, last time I went in there I got chunks of rose quartz for free because they had problems with uh, something or other. But every time I go in there she gives me something for free because she's just an amazing lady. She's lovely. And I was absolutely blown away by these. These are definitely going to take prominence in the Beltane. They're big chunky pieces of rose quartz. I'm just in love. I'm just ooh, but these, these are just incredible, absolutely incredible. So I thought I would share those with you. Let's just move the dime back out of the way and just pop the crystals into the shot. There's a few bags up there. And just again but there so I thought I would show this mainly crystal haul with you and I hope you enjoyed because I'm just in awe of these crystals I'm, I'm just blown away today so that's going to be it for today and I hope you have a very blessed weekend many blessings